Hey guys, I'm back. Well, it's good. Thank you, Fugo. Um, if I was fighting my brother in a couple of videos, we made up. Don't worry. It's a brotherly thing. It's just... It's the way how we communicate. I'm sorry for freaking you guys out about that. I apologize. Okay. I believe there's one more character left for us to play. From the Crusaders. And that is... Dio. Alright, that's fucking epic. I'm Dio and I get to fight fucking Jonathan. I can't be, uh, fucking planning this out any, any more than I could. How the fuck is Dio alive? So an encounter that crosses time itself. Is it Jojo? Goodbye, Jojo! <laughs> Fucking love that shit. Oh no! Fuck off, Jonathan! Oh! oh my god! Oh no. Oh no. No! I'm sorry, Dio, I failed you. Jesus, Jonathan, chill. Bro, it was just the fucking... It's the world. Yeah. No energy death ball. No exploding bullshit. No fucking ultimate attack form bullshit. No. A fucking road roller. <laughs> a fucking steam roller. <laughs> that, that's how you know Dio built different. <laughs> Dio knows that his literal stand alone and whatever he can throw at you is enough to kill you. He doesn't need to fucking charge up key or do any stupid bullshit. Trust me, he learned the last time with Jonathan. Why do you think he doesn't use the fucking vaporize? And the reason why he doesn't use the ice nor his vampiric powers anymore as much? Why would he need to if he has the world? And since he has the world, that means nobody can fucking touch him. So he wouldn't, like, need the vampire shit. He wouldn't need to turn people into vampires. He wouldn't need to do anything else. When he had that, when that, when he had that horse shit. Oh, no, the boat! <laughs> Fuck this kid up, yeah! 
Dean Molto, good job, Dio. Dio's weird. He has like a love hate relationship with Jonathan. And it's the same thing with Jonathan. They they hate each other, but they grew up with each other. So Zai Kuni, hi you Oh my god, that fucking shit, dude. When Dio started doing that fucking shit, you know he lost his fucking mind. And I'm like, imagine if Poochie saw that shit. I think he would regret every single fucking thing he has done. Especially the things that he has done to his brother. He would fucking hate... He would hate... Dio. I mean, people only saw the good traits of Dio, and Dio was able to mask his true personality away, so. Oh, jeez. Fucking love that sound effect, the Dio slows time shit. That's like the coolest fucking sound effect, bro. Honestly, I've seen the David Pro stuff with, uh... The second half of part six. They did a good fucking job. Um, Dragon's, Drake's Dream, or Dragon's Dream, fights actually pretty fucking good. Uh, the Yo-Yo Ma fight was a delight. I fucking loved it. Annecy's character is kind of cool. And just seeing the fucking brutality of Poochie. Trying to kill a, uh, trying to fucking cap a fucking pigeon. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, bro. This is the whole point of JoJo. Just the most out of body shit that you think would never happen happens. Like, try to imagine this gay looking priest who's like trying to fucking reset the universe gets mad over a fucking government agent, which is a pigeon. Because it gave financial aid and information to J Jolene. So he tries to fucking kill him. And this is like when the fucking, like, the scene where, like, the, the stand holds a gun thing came from. I just thought it was more hilarious because I'm like, oh my god, hey, yo, the stand's holding a fucking gun. But to be fair, if we all remember from part three... Um, Star Platinum was holding a pencil. A am I not wrong, right? Star Platinum was holding the bars, too. So, and it, it, it was even holding the gun to give it to Jotaro. So why the fuck is everyone so surprised that Poochie Stan could fucking do that? Of course stands can touch physical objects. Depends upon the person's spirit and will if they will it to actually happen. I'm not sure, man. I just love watching JoJo. Speaking of which, I gotta watch part two. I'll just see some clips on YouTube. And then if I find the time to sit down, eventually at some point I will try to sit down and watch it. But I gotta help out. I gotta get out of the house. My dad wants me to... 
get the fuck out because I'm always in the room recording and stuff like that, so... It is good to get out of the house every so often. Mukidos. Del moto. Fucking clock, Jonathan. Fucking made his ass retire, my guy. All right, that was deal, my dude. Hope you guys enjoyed. And next time, I think I'm just going to show off more modes. All right. Bye, guys. Stay crispy.